All right, we're moving on to phase two of putting LED lights on the tail of the C5 Corvette. And uh, next is going to be putting on some uh, RV tail lights. You're going to do what now? Yeah, we're going to put RV tail lights on a Corvette. And this is what it looks like. A little bit of, uh, looks like we got a DOT mark on there. So here again, I don't know how much stock you can put in those. But uh, anyways, apparently some years ago, some dudes on the Corvette forum figured out as he was, uh, this guy figured out as he was driving down the road, he's like, oh man, look at this RV trailer. It looks like it's got the same tail lights as my car does. And uh, sure enough, after doing a little bit of poking around, it seems to be true. Of course, I got ahead of myself, started taking things apart. Already got two screws out of the right hand light. Torx T15. My lights have seals on them. But anyways, they're kind of hard to get the lights out of the bumper cover. So what I did is I take a license plate screw and you just start it into the plastic. Let me try this side. See if I can get it to bite. And that makes it so you can pull the light out. There's our factory housing. This did have LEDs in it as well. So you can see it's a little bit thicker at the flange. So it's going to set out in the bumper cover a little bit. my screw again so this is where it gets interesting got your three wires yeah three wires in a minute I'll show a picture of the wiring diagram for this there are adapters they're bulb adapters so there's bulb adapters that you can plug in that mimic the light bulb and then it has three wires coming out of there that you could splice onto these wires. That's what I was originally going to do. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and skip all that monkey motion. I'm going to go ahead and just cut this connector off and then we will splice direct. More than likely these LEDs are going to outlive the car or maybe even me. Okay, so we've got a couple of different possibilities. We have these uh, Enviro butt splices, which you would crimp them on with these crimpers us using the insulated setting, if you will. And then after it's crimped, you would take a heat gun to this and it will melt down onto the wire. They're not bad. I think though, I'm probably gonna use this style Or it's just a uh, barrel crimp. And then uh, before you would crimp that, this is adhesive heat shrink. So it's actually got glue inside of it. So after you crimp this, you heat this down, it melts. The adhesive seals itself to the wire. Some people might argue that it's even better than soldering. So I think I'm going to go with that route. I'm going to go ahead and get this cut off. And uh, we'll get the first one done and uh, heat shrunk. I'll show the wire diagram for the right and left side. It's very simple. And we'll go from there. 
Okay, so brown connects to LED black. Black, the ground on the car, connects to the LED white. And green connects to the LED red. So excuse my uh, sweet 90s towel here. We've got our heat shrinks pre-stuck on that wire and then I put a large piece on the airframe wire harness and we'll, we'll eventually after the small three are shrunk we will then slide this guy over the top and shrink everything. We're using a 22 gauge to 16 gauge crimp the non-insulated setting it's not really a setting I guess I'm going to use the non-insulated portion of the pliers we'll go ahead and put all three of these on say pull test action everything seems fine I'll double check the colors one more time it's gonna be plenty of wiring So right lamps, we got green going to red, black going to white, and brown going to, brown goes to LED black, which it is. It's slightly different on the driver's side. Driver's side has a yellow instead of a green that goes to the LED red. So I'm going to get this shrunk. And we'll move on down the line. I'll probably do the right sides and then go ahead and power up the car and we'll uh, see what we can see without being in the dark. Um, the reality of it is for me in this car is I can probably count the number of times that I've driven this car in the dark on one hand. Oh my goodness, the ground prong's missing. Okay, so we got those three done. Seems fine. Probably could have went one size smaller on the big piece. But that's okay. Try not to melt no, your bumper cover. See the glue coming out. The one downfall to this is if you do have to go back in there, you got to do some exacto knife work to get that stuff cut off. Might actually double this up and put a tie wrap on it.
Okay, I didn't look to see if the factory screws are going to work. Hopefully they will. So I find my nut driver. screws for as many a story where dudes have stripped these out you end up just going bigger and bigger and bigger these are actually torqued up solid okay one down three more to go okay so here's our left to right grand unveiling this is just the running lights I think in that mode the factory ones actually look a little bit better in my opinion not that this is terrible I think that's still totally understandable it's not like somebody's gonna crane into you let's try some turns so this car already had a hyper flash harness in it before I bought it which is good So that's LEDs in the stock GM housings. So I'm going to get the driver's side knocked out and then we'll take a look at that. Okay, so we got all four of them done. Probably took about an hour. Let's see if I can hit the brakes and make them all go off at once. All right, that's pretty much the gist of uh, putting RV taillights in your C5 Corvette. Um, I'm not going to do a dark time video on any of these lighting mods yet because, well, it's going to be a long time before it's dark. And I'd rather do all the light jobs that I have coming uh, and then do one walk around with the um, LED lighting. So I think that's what we're going to do. I picked these up from a uh, shop in Bend, Oregon, conveniently called uh, Bend Trailer. I paid, I think it was $12.10 a piece for these. Um, shipping was pretty reasonable if I remember right, and I don't think they charged me tax. I did buy a spare, in case there's ever a problem in the future. Um, but yeah, that's a pretty good price. After doing a little bit of poking around, it looks like uh, these same lights on eBay, not eBay, but Amazon, and also another outfit called uh, E-Trailer uh, sells these, and they're going, I believe, for $30, $35 a piece. Pretty sure that wasn't for a four-pack. So, look up Ben Trailer if you're looking for these to get them at a reasonable uh, price. If you have any questions on how to put uh, RV tail lights in your own C5 Corvette or you want to know anything more about it, by all means, post them up down in the comments below and uh, we'll see you on the next lighting project.